Hi everyone, welcome to Jen the Real Fluencer. My channel here is all about helping you be your most confident self through style, fashion, and beauty. Do you love flannels the way I love flannels? Well, hopefully if you clicked on this video. So we're talking about 25 ways that you can wear flannels. This is really like a lookbook style video. Everything that I can link, I certainly will. But again, this is meant to be more of a lookbook style video. If you are particularly interested in a certain item though, definitely check the description box down below because if it is linkable, I will certainly put it down there for you. I will just quickly note all the flannels you're gonna see here, there's a lot different patterns are all from Walmart men's department. Before we get started, let me know down in the comments if you love wearing flannels. I'm assuming you do or probably why'd you click on this video. Let me know your favorite way to wear flannels. My personal favorite way is probably off the shoulder if I had to pick one, just one. <laughs> Let's first start out with the most unique way. You can tell me at the end of this video if you thought this was the most unique way. I guess this is just IMO in my opinion. Wearing it almost as a belt. So what I mean by that is you know how we all wear flannels around our waist, right? That's not super innovative, I get it. Basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna leave the flannel completely buttoned and then put it around your waist. And the reason why that is a little bit different is in this example of like the sweater dress here, I basically wanted to cinch my waist almost like a belt would, but I really didn't want to put a belt with this look. I really wanted to add that touch of color and kind of the vibe of having a flannel around your waist. And the reason why I did it this way versus just wearing it normal around your waist is I already thought that this dress made me look a little bit wide and I didn't want the additional fabric. And that is one of my tips. I'll talk about that next, wearing a flannel around your waist. Let's move into wearing it around your waist. I have two tips for you in doing this. Always make sure it's angled down. Anytime you have angles, and that's even, you know, with a pair of pants, anytime it's angled up, down, it creates a slimming effect. And anytime I wear a flannel around my waist, like not in example number one, but where the fabric is on both sides, I do try to slightly offset the fabric because I am curvy, I'm bottom heavy. And anytime you just add fabric to the side of your hips, it's not gonna do great, at least for my body type typically. If you can kind of balance that off to the one side. I always find that that looks a lot more flattering. You know, you don't want to have it completely crooked, but because that's a little bit of a sloppier look anyway, I don't think anybody's really going to call you out on it. And then coupled with the angled down part of it, I love that. Building upon kind of what we just mentioned with having the flannel around your waist, if you're wearing it with a pair of leggings, often when we wear leggings, we want something to cover like our crotch and our butt, but you're wearing it with a shirt that doesn't cover your crotch and your butt, you're able to actually use that flannel to essentially serve as that purpose. So obviously, if you're putting it around your waist, it's covering your butt, that's a given, right? But usually the way it hangs down, the arms are long enough that it does cover your crotch. I always like to say the C and the B, the crotch and the butt. So it really also serves serves that purpose too. You can add these underneath a sweatshirt and that gives a little bit more of a preppy vibe. I've done this where I've actually tucked in the sweatshirt and I've done this where I've actually had the flannel, you know, kind of coming out from underneath the sweatshirt. I think both look pretty cool. And I think that helps with the versatility just in terms of like what kind of sweatshirt you can wear these with. Next, you can wear these as a dress. This is the one and only one that I actually don't have a photo for you. I uh, forgot to pick these men's flannels up in a larger size, so that's just my bad. Based on how the XL tall fits me, I'm assuming that I would need a 2XL, but I don't know that 100% for sure. And obviously, if you're gonna do this, make sure the flannel's long enough. If it feels a little bit short, you could add tights. You know, that always makes me feel a little bit better when I'm wearing something that seems like it's shorter than you want it to be, or it's the winter time and your legs are pale, whatever just add tights. This next one is kind of a little bit more of like a sexy look, like a one shoulder type of look, but I have it buttoned, tucked into a pair of jeans, and then just kind of threw everything off the shoulder like that. And I really liked how that turned out. I've never done that one before. Earlier I said my favorite way to wear these things is off the shoulder, probably just because I love everything off the shoulder. Have you guys tried off the shoulder anything? Because I am obsessed. I'm convinced that it's not only kind of sexy, I feel like it's flattering. I don't know, there's just something about peaking a shoulder and a shoulder is such an unassuming body part, but I don't know, I just, I love it. So anyway, off the shoulder. We are about halfway through this video, so please give the video a like if you're finding it helpful and digging it so far. It really helps my channel out so much and I truly appreciate it.
leaving it kind of open but sitting over top of some sort of graphic tee graphic tee <laughs> can you tell which look i did last anyway <laughs> you know this is just kind of like a rocker edgy kind of a vibe this is a long sleeve graphic tee but certainly you can do it with a short sleeve graphic tee i would always try to make sure the colors in the graphic tee vibe a little bit with the colors in the flannel i mean if you don't want them to whatever but that's kind of what i go for just to give it a little bit more of a cohesive look Let's talk about two ways to layer, maybe for more of like an outdoor look. Underneath a vest, I think is super cute, and you could really leave the flannel tucked, untucked. I think either way, it looks really good. And then layered under some sort of jacket. Here I have it layered under like more of a jean shacket type of a thing. You can really layer it under anything, and it will just kind of add that extra bit of texture, that extra bit of interest to whatever that look is. Two more kind of edgy looks. So one would be if you have it just kind of like half tucked in. There's something that's like purposely sloppy about that that I just really love the look of that. I'll just make sure the back kind of all flows together and that will look really cute plaid on plaid so I kind of took two plaids here these pants are even more of like an actual dress pant but obviously I'm kind of wearing them for a little bit more of like a street style look and although this is not for everybody I thought it was really cute and I was like hey 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 this preppy look I have to tell you I did not think that I would like it as much as I did because I was just kind of like thinking and taking notes in my head hey what are all the ways and then I've obviously put the looks together I think the key for me here that made me like it so much was that I gave it a little bit of a monochromatic feel so I'm pairing it you know with the flannel that kind of went with whatever you're wearing underneath don't sleep on that one I'm not gonna sleep on it don't sleep on it so I've seen it be a thing to wear button down, like maybe more of a blousey style, dressy style button down backwards, just like full on wear it backwards. I feel like I've seen that with more of like a loose shoulder. I tried that with this. I didn't love it, but I did end up thinking it looked cute where it was actually really like fully buttoned down the back to give it more of a structured look in the front. And although this one is not my favorite, it came out a heck of a lot cuter than I probably thought it would. So I wanted to make sure I added it to this video. <laughs> When you have just kind of a casual jean style look, you can, you know, you just take the edges and you just tie it up. I mean, that's like the simplest trick in the book, right? But it actually does look really cute. Even with the flannel, I've certainly done that with like normal button downs. Two kind of dress looks for you. I'm wearing them here in a midi dress. Obviously you can wear a shorter dress, but just wearing it like as an over, an over thing, an over, an overture, an overcoat, a thing on top of a dress, just kind of as is. And then also, you know, what we just talked about doing it with the jeans, doing that with a dress too. That almost gives it like, is it a skirt? Is it a dress? You know, you kind of can't tell. I liked both of those. Also, same with a cat suit. I have it kind of down fully so that it kind of more covers your butt. Obviously, you could tie it up if you are more brave than me where you're like full on butt is out in like a cat suit jumpsuit kind of a situation. Probably a little too much for me. I wasn't going to do that, but obviously you could do that too. <laughs> Wearing this kind of like long and down, but then just kind of picking one of the buttons in the middle and doing that over like a pair of leggings or something I thought looked really cute. Kind of like this effortlessly like, I don't care, but I look cute anyway, kind of a look. I don't know. I like that one. I never try to flannel with overalls and I have to tell you that I was pretty excited how those look together. And obviously with overalls, I mean, there's a lot of options. There's like sub options here, right? You could wear it fully over. You could wear it underneath the overalls as the shirt. You certainly could do off the shoulder like you see around your waist, do it as a tie. A lot of ways just even simply with overalls that you could do this. I'm just showing you one of the ways. And I'm going to roll through just kind of examples of stuff that you can, you know, choose to pair with it as like overall looks. These definitely look cute with skinny jeans. I wanted to show you an example of that. Obviously, there's like a lot of other types of jeans that are out right now. So like a wide leg kind of 90s style jean. And again, really with these, you could go the route of wearing it over top around your waist, you know, whichever. Don't skip out on pairing these with like a wide leg jean. Don't skip out on pairing these with a skinny jean. I think often with flannels, at least for me, my go to seems to be leggings. Um, <laughs> but don't skip on those. Hats. I love hats. I love beanies. I love baseball caps. I'm showing you an example here with a beanie, but definitely with a hat, it just gives it a much more kind of an edgy look. I don't know why. Why are hats edgy? I don't know. Anyway, accessories are always our friend. Always, always, always. 
have it paired here with a pair of like sweatpants that are cropped. I'd call these more like elevated sweatpants. Wanted to mention that because I don't know, maybe that's a little bit different. I feel like if you often think of a flannel with sweatpants, it just almost sounds like it's something that you sleep in maybe. So I just wanted to style it so that you could kind of see what I meant also with leggings, regular leggings, faux leather leggings. I definitely have been wearing these flannels a ton with my faux leather leggings. I'll definitely link my favorite faux leather leggings below for you if that is not something that you have ventured out to try yet. Woo! Are you guys flanneled out? I'm flanneled out. Let me know your favorite way down in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye!